Design thinking is a systematic approach to solving complex problems, an approach that emphasizes innovation through iteration and learning through doing. Design thinking includes specific skills, processes, and mindsets that are central to the research and development work that happens every day here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And design thinking can be a powerful toolkit for improving teaching and learning in schools. My name is Justin Reich, and I'm the executive director of the Teaching Systems Lab here at MIT. The Teaching Systems Lab investigates the complex, technology-rich classrooms of the future and the systems that we need to develop for educators to thrive in those settings. As we think about the future of schooling and learning, one of our central concerns is how can we prepare students for their future? In the decades ahead, automation is going to replace many of the jobs that we take for granted today. If we want young people to thrive in their future, we need to help them become great communicators, and we need to help them learn to solve ill-structured problems. With that challenge in mind, there are two overarching framing questions for this course. First, how do we prepare K-12 students to be as successful as possible in a future that requires creativity, problem solving, and communication skills? And second, how do we enable passionate school leaders to re-envision the role of schools in preparing kids for their future? This course has three units. In unit one, we'll explore how faculty and researchers here at MIT use design thinking in their own research and development across multiple departments. Unit two will focus on how a variety of schools are using design thinking with their K-12 students. In unit three, we'll explore how design thinking can be used to address broader systemic level challenges within education. In this course, we'll focus on how to adopt design thinking as a toolkit for addressing these questions. We'll use design thinking as a pedagogical framework that we can use in our classes with our students, but we'll also investigate design thinking as a set of strategies that school leaders can use with their colleagues to improve the systems in their own schools. We hope you leave this course equipped with a design-driven mindset, specific skills that you can apply right away, and the confidence to try these approaches with your students and colleagues. You won't get it right the first time, and that's to be expected. But if you join us on this journey, you'll leave empowered with a new set of tools for solving ill-structured problems, for preparing students for their future, and for helping the schools of today become the schools of tomorrow. Let's get started.